Inspection of ceiling joist spans. When I inspect a ceiling joist span, well, it's a lot simpler than inspecting the span of floor joists, but you still need the right table from the code. Here's how I do it. You go to the International Residential Code table R802.5.11. And this table has no attic storage, just ceiling weight. The other table, it's like partner table, R802.512 has limited attic storage, shorter spans because of the extra load. So the question is, which table do you use to figure out the ceiling joist span? Well, ask yourself, is there attic access? Are there pull down stairs? Are there permanent stairs? And if yes, it's probably limited storage. If there's no access at all, use table one, no storage, no access. Now the inspection process of ceiling joist spans is the same as floor joist spans. You gotta have the size, the species, the grade of the wood, and the spacing. And you measure the actual span between the supports. Here's the key difference. Ceiling joists carry way less load than floor joists. Dead load is just the drywall, the insulation, maybe some light fixtures. So storage load in the second table, table two, is only 20 PSF. That's for like, you're gonna store some Christmas decorations in the attic, um, no furniture, just some light storage. And here are some common sizes for ceiling joists. They're two by eights or two by sixes. So above me are two by eights, and that's very common. Two by tens for a ceiling joist is for maybe a long span or for storage when storage is planned. So I just take out my measuring tape and I measure, that's a two by eight. Now spacing in between the ceiling joists. Well, they're either 16, which is common, or 24. And you just simply measure. It's 16 or 24. And you measure from the center of the joist to the center of the next joist. And then you go to your table, table one or two, and you take your numbers and you compare your numbers with the actual span of the ceiling joists. If the span of the ceiling joists is too long, you have a problem. So here's something to look out for. When you have a ceiling joist that doubles as a rafter tie, that changes everything. Because a rafter tie, well, they're doing structural work, not just holding up the drywall. So let's summarize. For inspecting these boards, which are ceiling joists, no storage gets table one. Limited storage gets table two. You measure, then you compare, and then you move on.